What's happening, everybody? Welcome to my funky brain. I'm Dennis. I was just leaving Grand Lake, Colorado. If you've never been here, it's really gorgeous. And right now, the leaves are changing. It's really perfect outside. But I had this realization, and I wanted to say this stuff. I was, I, I started coming up here like 15 years ago. I needed to get away because whatever crisis I was going through at the time and I wanted to go someplace different where I've never been before and so I heard about Grand Lake so I drove up here and it was awesome I was here for I think maybe a week at the time I didn't have the responsibilities that I do now and it was the most incredible week that I ever had it was overwhelmingly incredible like the beauty it was the first time I was here there's if you don't know anything about it there's miles and miles of 300 foot deep lakes at 8,000 feet altitude. It's just incredible. Bald eagles flying around. I went and sat in the middle of the lake on a boat for a little while. I went on these long hikes. I brought my mountain bike and I just had the most incredible week and I got so peaceful and so re-centered that I always have been coming back for years trying to get that same peace. And one of the reasons I'm doing this is because I realized just now as I was driving out of town that I didn't have that same peace. I've been here for like four days now and I'm driving back home and I don't have that same peace that I had years ago when I used to come up. I come up every year now, once or twice a year. And so I started thinking, Do, is it me? Because Grand Lake's been just as beautiful as it has been for hundreds of years or whatever, thousands of years. And it's the same beauty. So maybe there's something wrong with me. I don't know what it is. Maybe I need to go someplace different. I was thinking about that. But then I was thinking maybe I'm just so unsettled that I need to figure out what's really going on inside. I remember an old movie I watched years ago. I think it was, it was a Michael J. Fox, Doc Hollywood. And he was talking with the girl and they were talking about how small town living sucks and that they needed to get out and do more in the world. And, and she said the most awesome thing. She said, it's not the place, it's the person. If you're unsettled, you're gonna be unsettled no matter where you go. I used to run away all the time. I would go, I'm an old skier, so I used to go up to ski mountains and then I would, everything is great and fun and I would party and then I would get in trouble and then I would go someplace else. And everywhere I go, there I am. I had to learn how to get peaceful and settled no matter where I am. Wherever you are, look around. If you're in a city, look at the architecture. If you're in the beach, look how beautiful the beach is. If you're in the mountains, look how beautiful the mountains are and the trees are. You're, if something's really going wrong, it's inside of you. It's not necessarily where you are. It's who you are. So that was kind of a crazy little revelation that I had. I need to go deeper, apparently, and figure out what's going on with me. Because there's some shit inside that's stirring up, and I don't know what it is, and I just don't feel as settled. So that's what happens as you go through life. You just feel unsettled, and you have to find ways to cope with it. Healthy ways, hopefully. You guys know my story. I was, I've been sober a long time, but the, my coping mechanism was always the drugs and the alcohol to get me through whatever crisis I had to get through. And now I don't have to do that anymore. Now I, I've been able to learn ways to cope, meditating, calling, talking to people, whatever it is, going on, going on trips. There's nothing wrong with going on trips and getting recentered. In fact, it's an awesome way to do that. But if you find that you're not getting as recentered, it maybe you have to go a little bit deeper. I always talk about the going to nature. Nature really is a spectacular way to get recentered because we belong in nature. We're just animals at a base level. So when we go on vacation, everybody says the same thing at the end of the trip. Oh, it's back to the real world, but 
this world that most of us live in, it's not the real world, it's the fucked up world that has us all stressed out and worried about our finances and who the president is and money and 401k plans and retirement and all that stuff that we have to pay lots of money to go back to the real world to get recentered. It's a mess, like everything's backwards, it's a paradox. So it's important to go back to nature and get recentered. Even if you can't get away, take your shoes off, walk in the grass for a little bit, or on some dirt or whatever, and notice how more peaceful you feel because that's where we belong. Our feet belong in nature. As soon as we get there, we calm down and feel better. So if we did that more often, we'd probably feel better more often. But anyway, the reason I brought all that up was because I was driving out of town and I didn't feel as peaceful as I used to be when I came here. And so that means I either need to go someplace else, which I should because there's so many beautiful places to go. I don't need to keep going back to the same place all the time. Or there's something deeper going on and I need to figure that out too. So that was my thought today. I thought I'd share that. Check out the Funky Brain Podcast on YouTube or on the podcast channels. And have a great day. Talk to you soon. Bye.